Marriage is work. Marriage is a career. It's not an adventure. You do more before five than most folks do all day. It's like the military. My wife and I, we're together about six, seven years. We're married. We divorced about 10, 11 years. Now we're back together, married eight years. Because we're both so damaged, we can't be with nobody else. We had to come back home. Once you've been married to each other, you're trained. I'm trained. I ain't got time to train nobody else. She ain't got time to train nobody else. Everybody's jacked up. Go back to when you had. I thought you was crazy. Everybody crazy. I know you're crazy. I can deal with your crazy. And all you men out here, 55 years old, trying to date some girl 20 like she like you. Are you out your mind? She wants your house. I don't see no 20 year old girls with a broke down 55 year old man with no money. You don't see no girl 20. Oh, he's look at, look at the homeless dude, but he's cute. Hey, hey. She wants you to die. If you keep messing with her, you will. You want a woman that understands the signs of stroke. That's what I'm looking for. A woman that got my medication in her purse. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I thought you took it. I thought I did. You want a woman that's your nurse. See, if you go to dinner with a woman that's 55 years old and you, your little lip curl up, she know what to do. Hey, 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 hey. Jamal, Jamal, look at me. Jamal, look at me. She'll get you to a hospital and save your life. But a girl 20, quit making faces at me. It's not funny anymore. Now you all stroked out for the rest of your life because your little cute girlfriend didn't know the signs of stroke. She come visit you in the hospital. I ain't know where the stroke was. I tried to tell you. I don't understand you. I had a stroke. But can I have your house now? Since you can't live there no more. <laughs> Marriage is about growing old together. Marriage is about falling apart at the same time. That's what makes it special. You live long enough, the two of you become one good person. You become one. One can see, one can hear. One can walk, one can use their hands. You need each other. You have to go to movies together. One listens, one watches. You become a team. One got a good right hip, one got a good left hip, and you're balanced. They're so cute together. No, they fall down. They need one another. <laughs> Woo! Because see, once, once you've been with somebody so long, you just understand stuff. You have the same vision, you share glasses. You got glasses all over the house. Wait, girl, let me go. I think they're behind the stove. I always had 20-20 vision all my life. I can't see now. You know how I found out? I'm in a the movie theater, and I'm the only one going to just, focus it! And usually other people join in with you. They were like, you might want to move down toward the front, Sinbad. So now I got them progressive glasses so I can see far at the top and I see close at the bottom. But they, they told me you can drive with it. No, you can't. You got to learn the sweet spot. You got to find the sweet spot. You know how many times I stop at a stop sign? Ah, it's way out there somewhere. What? Oh, wait a minute. My bad, my bad. It's right here. My bad. I'm sorry. So I want to help you ladies with questions you have. Anything you might have, some about a man that throws you off, some about your man that drives you crazy, I'll fix it in 13 seconds. You don't need no long counseling. Any woman, somebody man make you mad, anything, something, shout it out, shout it. Be romantic. What does that mean? You got to be specific with a man. I don't even know what you're talking about. Be romantic. What? Fix the screen door? What? What do you want me to do? I want romance. I want romance. What? 
Hold your hand? What? <laughs> then say it. Look at your man. Hold my hand. Ah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> now you finally got what you're looking for. <laughs> I want romance. I want, can you read those books? How to make love last forever. How to have romance forever. Too much work. <laughs> Just say what you want. You got a man always forget your birthday? Forget that. Buy yourself a car. Look what you got me. <laughs> He'll remember next year. I'll never forget your birthday again. That one cost me a lot of money. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna help. What confuses you most about women? I'll fix it. What confuses you most about women? And I'm gonna fix it for you. I'm gonna help you understand it. That they act like nothing. You're not married, are you? Because you're talking. She ain't here, is she? Why are you talking? You ain't learned nothing. You have learned nothing in your life. That's why you stay in trouble. You know what she did? She did this. So you don't know what that means. You're a single man. That means this man's in trouble. He don't even understand. She did that. They're going to be in the car. What? Why you always got to say something? He asked me something. That's a man that's sleeping downstairs tonight. Look at all these men. Look at these married men sitting here. They're trying to assume the position of getting in no trouble. That's your job as a man to get in trouble. That's your job. Your problem is you're trying not to be in trouble. Accept the trouble. And be sarcastic with it. Piss them off. That's half the fun of being married. You did that on purpose. Oh, yes, I did. That's foreplay. They need to have training for husbands, men training for husbands. How to be a husband, how to talk, how to survive a day. You got to practice, you got to look in the mirror. What? Oh, no. You got to learn to make those faces. Act like you're trying to speak, but don't let nothing come out. Don't say nothing, but act like you're trying to be involved. <laughs> Men are so confused. I got a son that's 20 years old. My daughter's 23. My daughter said she's trying to find a good man. I said, learn to be by yourself for a second. Don't be crying. <laughs> be, look, she waved. You got a man. Why you raise your hand? She think this. You with a man. She said, that's right. <laughs> look what you just did. That's right. Be by yourself. As you hold his hand. <laughs> what was that about? That's right. Be by yourself. I'm talking about you. Now, if he had done that, that's right. Oh, really? <laughs> You've been in the parking lot. What? What did I say? <laughs> well, slow down. <laughs> you better love that man. He got you a front row seat. At least it's good for a show. See, young, how old are you? How old are you right now? How old are you? 34. You say, you're still young, man. You got, you know, see, my mom, my mom's generation, they know how, they, they know how to work. My mom worked my dad. My mom know how to get my dad put patio in, build a guest room. They know how to work a brother back in the day. My dad was like a slave. You need to put that roof up. She looked at him, my man, my man can do everything. All she had to do was give him some Kool-Aid. Working, working it, work, work, work. Because my mom got styled. Young ladies, y'all got to get styled back. Y'all angry, y'all angry. Y'all angry, y'all just... Just mad. Smile sometime. You might have a good man, you just don't know it. You just stay so angry. What, Ladies, what are y'all mad about? Let me help, what are y'all mad about? What? Because we no good. Every man no good. Every man. See, that's one woman. Every man. You dated everybody? Or did you miss somebody? Maybe that's the problem. You dating too many people. Pick one. See what happens. Okay, I'm going to go with that. What makes a man no good? I'm going to help ladies out. He lies. That's how you make a relationship stay alive. If a man does not lie, the relationship is done because you ask questions that make no sense. So I have to lie. If you don't want me to lie, quit asking me questions. <laughs>